can be a little rough It makes you feel like you're three foot tall When it's just you, well times can be tough When there's no one there to catch a fall Three foot tall Good night, Dad! Good night, honey. Love you. Okay. Can't sleep with me in the morning. Okay. So I am still car shopping. I'm sitting here, I've been going over vehicles on the internet for quite some time now. I got a lot of recommendations from the video two nights ago when we were out checking out some vehicles. I'm looking for either a sedan or I'm looking for a new SUV, newer, new to me anyhow. It doesn't have to be brand new, used. And so a couple of uh, the vehicles that I got recommended were like, for example, the Q5, also the F-Pace, a lot of people said the Range Rover, even as high as like, you know, the SVR, the crazy model, which would be cool, but they're pretty hard to find around where, you know, around here where I live. Um, I thought about maybe even like the full size Range Rover, a G-Wagon's always still on the list. They're not easy to find here on, on Vancouver Island. I'd probably have to go to the mainland to try to find one of those. But I found three of the SUVs that um, were the most recommended out of all the comments that you guys left. I do read them. Um, even if I don't reply, I've probably read your comment. It just gets hard to reply because typing a reply to a few hundred comments, uh, I do my best to do that as much as I can reply to all you guys. So let's start with the top three that you guys said I should take a closer look at. All right guys, so in no particular order, uh, the Q5 was one of the top recommended vehicles. A few people said they really liked the new uh, styling of the headlights. And I gotta agree, these are pretty these are pretty badass looking. They have that, a very, actually R8-esque kind of design to them. So this is a cool vehicle. I'd have to go again, see it in person. I have not seen one and I've never been inside a Q5. The other vehicle that was in the top was of course the Range Rover. A, fit, a huge favorite of mine, I've had several Land Rover, Range Rover products, Range Rover Sports, full-size Range Rovers, and even as of recently, I had a brand new LR4. I really liked that vehicle for its reliability. It gave me no headaches. It was really perfect and flawless. It just wasn't sporty enough. And the big boxy look, I do like the boxy look, but that vehicle, I was just a little over it. That's kind of one of my fears around the G-Wagon. I don't know if it would just be something that I really thought I wanted, and then the novelty would wear off. And last but not least, out of the three, the F-Pace. A lot of you guys said I should check the F-Pace out. Now, I have, again, no hands-on experience with this vehicle. I really don't know if I'd like it or not, or if it's big enough. I've passed a couple. They look a little smaller. I do like the lines on this. It's something we should definitely go and check out. <laughs> What's up guys? Well, if you know me, I cannot sit still. I'm kind of like a let's take action right away type of person. So I just drove an hour from my house to Victoria to come and check out the F-Pace in person. I was online, I was on their website, and I saw that the Victoria Jaguar Land Rover dealer, which coincidentally enough is the same dealer, so I can also check out Range Rovers while I'm here, had exactly what I was looking for on the internet. So, I came down, and let's check it out. It's not as small as I actually thought it was. I do love the lines on it, and I'm gonna show you a few details of what I really like. First and foremost, I'm a huge black and white fan, as you can probably tell from well, the very what is currently brown Porsche, but I loved this spec right off, you know, the start. One of the things that sold me on the Porsche is the fact that it was white with the full pano roof, so an all glass roof, the black wheels, and that's what I'm kind of feeling right here is this whole, like, if you want to call it, if you want to label it something, Stormtrooper look, I really like, and I've liked for a long time. A lot of my cars have been black and white. So the, the lines on this, I'm really digging. I like the wheel design for a stock wheel. It's really cool. This one's like a two-tone, so it's got like a matte face, and then they actually have like the windows in some of the spokes, gloss black. So it's like a two-tone black. I'm really digging the tail lights. I really think this is a clean design. 
again, bear with me, I'm just learning about this vehicle as we basically go through it here together. So why don't you guys comment and let me know who's a fan of the F-Pace? What do you guys think of it? Again, there's some perks to coming out at night and looking at these. One, obviously you don't get harassed by sales guys, but uh, the downside is you can't really see into the cars if they're not under the lights. Hey, what do you guys think of this? Fans? It's a pretty cool car. I have some buddies that have this. They seem to really enjoy it. It is cold. All right, yes, we are in luck. There are a couple of Range Rovers back here. And funny enough, we're going with the black and white theme. Just trying to find this last button here. Going with the black and white theme, <laughs> we have a black and white Range Rover. So far, the drive down's been well worth it. Oh, look at that. Is this the SRT Jeep? Because a bunch of you guys were saying I should check out the SRT Jeep. Is this it? I mean, this I've never seen a Jeep like this before. This thing's pretty murdered out looking. I mean, it's got black badges. It looks like it's got some definite upgraded wheels. It is. It is the SRT Jeep. I can see the logos there. You guys can see that right in the seats? It's got like a beautiful two-tone interior. Some red guts. Whoa. I can see why you guys were recommending this. This is not your average Jeep, is it? I see why you guys recommended the SRT. Great choice. Thank you for recommending it. Ironically, total law of attraction. I have the F-Pace here. I have the Range Rover Sport here. I have the Jeep SRT here. All I need is, if they had the Q5, I don't even need to go to another dealership. Okay, moving on from the SRT, we're gonna have a closer look at this Range Rover Sport behind me. This actually appears to be like maybe a customer's car, because it doesn't look like it's a for sale, considering that it's got a whole bunch of stuff inside the dash and license plates on it. However, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that it's here and do a quick walk around and look at some of the things that I like about it. I like this two-tone white body with the black roof line. I would prefer a black wheel to go with it, of course. This is another Sport HSE. And then what just looks more badass? If you spend the money and they're all in the same price range, you want something that's gonna give, you know, the best look and feel for you and your personality. And for me, I like, I've liked Range Rover for a long time. So let's have a quick look at this thing. Got the blood of a champion in my veins I ain't following nobody, I'm in my own lane Never day in my life, come and feel my pain I'm balling out like LeBron and Dwayne In overtime, all my life Time to turn it up into overdrive Gotta live your life with an open mind Blood, sweat, tears got me so alive Pull up with a bad one, in a plaster Jerk side with an ass, got a fat one Used to never get money, your host back then Now I get both, but never will get a chance to Wait the focus on the money, turn the vision to it Embrace the struggle and you're gonna get through it Never give up, boy, you gotta keep moving Alright, so moving on this is turning out to be a good little SUV hotspot. The Victoria Land Rover Jaguar dealership has got a bunch of stuff tucked away here. Here I've found the Mercedes GL. Now this is a seven passenger vehicle. It's definitely in a bigger class of vehicle than these that we've been looking at. However, this looks to be potentially one of the, a or the AMG model GL so I'm gonna have a quick look at it, or it's got just the sport upgraded AMG look. Sometimes it's tricky, but it's definitely got the sport AMG bumper and it's got the wheels. So let's have a quick look and see what model this really is. It, yep, it's a 550. It is not the AMG line. So it's not a GL63. What do we got here, 90? Oh, it's on sale now for, oh, hold on. 9888 and it's currently on sale for oh 89 wow they're really uh they're really enticing me to buy this with their uh 900 or something dollars off i do like the look of this one stealthy and you know had you blacked out the wheels It'd be a cool murdered out uh seven passenger family wagon i'll have to show the wife this we were looking at one of these a couple of years ago never did buy it could be the opportunity now 
All right, let's move on from the GL because I saw some full-size Range Rovers over here. There's a blue Sport as well with a silver roof. What is this? That, I don't know. Do I like it or do I hate it? It's kind of setting in. I think I don't like it. Oh, that is a full-on silver roof. You guys think, tell me in the comments, silver roof on a blue vehicle? Yes, no? Tell me what you guys think. Hey, it's not for everybody. This is the nice thing about vehicles and everybody on the planet has their own choice in what they want. Someone obviously wanted this. All right, let's look at a couple of full sizes. We got three of them here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we got two like graphite kind of like gray metallic colors. Then we got the black one. Oh, the black one's sick. And the black versus the these wheels. Look at the black one. Black one's got the sick wheels. Not a fan of those. I like these wheels. Boom. Oh wow, this thing is gangster. Working up with the same routine, hoping they're playing for sunshine. The plan that don't work out as they through Z. Looking at rappers, it's lunchtime. Sick of the drugs and the groupies. Hustling, her boy, it's crunch time. Praying to God he don't lose me. Shout to my family one time. Putting my thoughts on a blue sleeve, on the blue sleeve of this rap shit. Sometimes this life will get lonely and close, so go make sure that you bring a jacket. All right, I am rotating hands at this point just to keep them from being completely numb. It's pretty cold out here. So. We've covered a lot of ground at one dealership. We could go over and look at Porsche, but I think I'm just gonna boycott Porsche at the moment. I'm just joking. I just have no interest in going and looking at anything that I'm not gonna buy right now. Still love Porsche cars. Hopefully they are not built the way that their SUVs are built. And if they're not, that'd be odd that they didn't put the attention to detail and love into the SUV that they do their cars. Those, before we leave, are some exhaust tips. That's definitely cool looking. Again, I'm a fan of like the black wheels. That looks good, in my opinion. All right, and that brings us back to... Dun, dun, dun. Yeah my Porsche and head on over to I believe what should be the Audi dealership and that might be our final stop for the evening considering we just banged out so many SUVs on the list right here all right I feel like I've been beating on the Porsche pretty hard lately so I got to give it something positive and here it is see that heated steering wheel I got cold hands, and this thing has a heated steering wheel. We are currently friends for the moment. Oh, well look at that, what do you know? I need gas. That's right, a twin turbo V8 will suck it back. I feel like I just filled this thing up. Well here we are, we're at Audi, just to my left here. Let me go and check out this Q7 and Q5 you guys have been bragging about. And look at this thing sitting here, red wheels race back all right boom here we go it's a q7 there right in front of me i'm already getting the feeling that it's a bit more rounded than i like however i believe this is a newer model this is the previous gen and that definitely looks like it's been cleaned up it doesn't quite look as bubbly right off the top look at that so we got a couple of Q7s. I'm guessing again that this isn't uh, by accident that they put a previous gen to the new gen. It really is a easy way for the dealership to show the differences between the two models and any upgrades that they've done. First of all, I mean, this is what I noticed. Different roof line, different tail lights, different rear bumper and exhaust. Look at this. Look at those. And then look at these. There you go, you can see them right there. New, old. So they've definitely done a lot of 
design upgrades on the Q7. I like what they've done with the wheels. Front end differences. Wow. That's significant. It's a good way to look at them. Thank you, Audi of Victoria, for uh, putting a previous gen right next to the new one. They've like notched it out. That definitely gives it an interesting look. I like it in white. What else they got? We have an SQ5 and it's completely murdered out. This is sick. Let me show you guys this. I actually like this. And we've got a black wheel. I'm liking that. So yeah, we got twins here. We got two SQ5s, basically with the same package, both got black wheel. Like it or dislike it? I think that my Cayenne is slightly larger than this. This is definitely more may potentially in like the Macan class. The turbo V6, that definitely have to be better on fuel than what I'm currently running. I saw this on my way in. Thought I'd definitely have to come check this out. The TT's always been a fun little car. All right, so over my shoulder, they have a used 2013 Audi TT Competition S-Line. That's a mouthful. I just read it on the windshield, by the way. I didn't really know what it was. I've never really been in the market to buy a TT. Not like I couldn't afford it. It's just hasn't been a car that's really appealed to me. If I was going to buy a two-seater, I've always had my sights set on a supercar. But um, nevertheless, I mean, it's an awesome car. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I know a lot of guys that have these cars. In fact, my friend James Condon, the Stradman, you guys should check out his channel. He's coming on Snowball Rally, and he has a daily driver next to his Gallardo, which is a red Audi TT. I don't believe it's an S-Line or competition, but it's still an Audi TT. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up for my little visit here to Audi of Victoria. I'm gonna have to show the wife, I think, that, what is it, SQ5, the all black one. It's probably the nicest thing here that I really found appealing on any level. I'd have to see this Q7 in a different model, I think in different colors and tones. I mean, this is nice. It's nicer than the previous gen, but it's still not really what I'm looking for. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen one of these yet. I know we were looking for SUVs, but we're gonna stop and definitely check this out. This is a new Raptor. I have not seen the new Raptor yet. This thing is sick. Check this out. Oh, I like this. Look at the suspension in this. I've always wanted one of these. I don't know why. I don't really have a use for a pickup truck, but I think just this, this truck specifically, the Raptor. New one is sick. What do you guys think about, should I get this instead of an SUV? Would you hate on me? <laughs> Daily Driven Exotics buys a Ford. <laughs> I like them. That hood. Oh, that's an aggressive hood. <laughs> wow. I'm not really a blue fan, but standing here, the blue, this blue is a gorgeous blue. Like my camera doesn't even do this justice right now. What do you guys think? Should I get this instead of an SUV? Lots of space. So, what do we got here? $90,000. That's not bad. All right, what else we got here since we're here? I see some type of like crazy Mustang in here. I wonder if it's a 350R. Well, they got a bunch. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Mustang lovers, eat your heart out. Carbon fiber wheels, right there. 
Carbon Revolution made the wheels for these cars. Why are there four of them here? Are they not selling? I, I Guys, I know nothing about this market, but I mean, from what I've heard, this is a pretty badass car. Why are there four sitting here? And are they not like limited and rare? Or, like, don't, aren't people buying these things up like crazy? I like the black one. Working up with the same routine, hoping they're playing for sunshine. The plan they don't work out is a cruising. Looking at rappers, it's lunchtime. Sick of the drugs and the groupies. Hustling, homeboy, it's crunch time. Praying to God he don't lose me. Shout to my family once, huh? Yeah, that black Mustang's pretty cool. <laughs> I bet you that would be just a donut machine. Tire slayer. Okay, thanks for watching tonight's episode of another one of my night late night sh uh, car shopping escapades I'm still not sure what I'm gonna get I think I'm just more confused I came down thinking I would get more clarity and I'm just I'm just more confused guys I know that we need five seats but we could use seven at times but I know wifey doesn't like having a massive vehicle so I'll bring up the fact that that GL 550 was at Land Rover I'll tell her about the Q7 but I think we'd probably be more interested in the, that SQ5. I gotta find out if they can get a black one of these Raptors. I think I'm gonna throw that in the mix now, just for the hell of it. I mean, it's either a luxury SUV, probably first and foremost, or a luxury sedan, but I think that, I think a murdered out brand new uh, black Raptor would be pretty sick. I'm stuttering now because it's actually pretty cold. Like this hand, I can't really feel, and I'm gonna have to switch because this hand is definitely numb. All right, well, thanks for watching this episode of Daily Driven Exotics vlog with me, Damon Fryer. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's a free and easy way to show your appreciation to us content creators on all the hard work we put into, uh, you know, filming what's going on in our lives and then going home and spending up several hours uh, editing these videos. I'm gonna say goodnight here and spend the next hour driving home. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I got the blood of a champion in my veins. I ain't following nobody, I'm in my own lane. Live a day in my life, come and feel my pain. I'm balling out like LeBron and Dwayne in overtime. All my life, time to turn it up into overdrive. Gotta live your life with an open mind. Blood, sweat, tears got me so